Hey, what's up, guys? This is Chung here again. So this time I want to talk about this lead code problem 616. Add bold tag in string. So let's take a look at the description of the problem here. So you're given like a string and a dictionary of words, right? And you need to add anything that appears in this dictionary and encapsulate them around, uh, encapsulate them uh, with this uh, bold tag here. For example, here A, B, C, and the one, two, three. They are both inside. They're both one of the peers in this dictionary. So that's why we need to add this, like the 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 bold bold tag around them, right? And <clears throat> one more thing we need to notice here: if they are like continuous, basically, if they are the continuous, like right, say for example here, like A A A, right, seen here, but then the the B the B is also there. Why? Because the A A B also can also in, uh, in contains B here. And also the A A B C also contains B here. Right? That's why if if there's like continuous like uh, continuous like a uh, string appears in the dictionary, we all we need to merge them basically. Right? So how should we uh, think about this problem, right? I mean, so one way of doing this is the, uh, you know, we have to know, right? So uh, we have to know if this string, if, if this character is bold or not, right? Because at this moment, we don't know. At this moment, we, we don't know unless we, we go through the entire string, right? So basically, that's, that's when we need four, two for loops two paths here and the first one is the uh, we mark basically basically we mark if this string if this character if this character needs to be marked to be bold right and then we will have like uh, okay. and we will be creating like a bucket with the same size of the of this a string here and each element will be either one or zero Right. Basically, for example, in this case, that's going to be one, 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 right? Zero, 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 one, one, one. So after the first for loop, we'll be we'll we'll, we'll know like if this which character needs to be uh needs to be uh marked as bold. And for example, this one, right? Same thing here, right? So one, 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 and zero, right? So then once we have this like uh, flags uh, list here, then things becomes e much easier, right? So all we need to do is we just uh, we just uh, loop through this link, uh, this list here. So every time when we see, uh, so when, so we just need to figure out, so when do we need to uh, add uh, this, this uh, starting tag here, right? So when, when we need to add it, so either there's nothing on the left or there's a zero on the left, right? I mean, of course, the current one has to be zero. So basically, if the current one is zero, and it's the first one, or the left, the left, of, the left side of it is zero, and then we know we need to add a, like a starting, a start a tag of the bold. And same thing for for the for the closing tag here. If if the current one is one, and and the uh, it's the last element, or the right side is zero. Right. And then we know. Okay, we need to add uh, an ending point, a uh, uh, closing tag here. Okay. So now it comes to uh, how should we uh, mark all those ones, right? So basically, we're gonna loop through the string here, and every every time when we see a, a new string, a new character here, basically we'll search from this from this string onward, and basically we'll we'll search uh, from here to the end. If if it starts with any of the, the words in the, in the dictionary, if it is, then we mark the ending point. We, basically, we know okay. So from here to here, for example, here a a a b b c c right, and that's the word. So basically, we're gonna maintain like a end variables every time when we see so like a, a new characters, we update this end. And in the end, we just compare. Okay, so if our current index is within the, this end range, if it is, then we simply mark this one to one. Otherwise, we mark it to, to zero, right? So basically, 
for example, this one. So when uh, we are at the first one, right? So the first one is we see uh we look through all the the words here. We see okay, so current string starts with AAA, right? Then we update this end uh, from zero to uh, two to three. From zero to three, or we update it to to two here. The length, basically, the length is like uh, we can either do a, a a length or the length minus one. In, let's do a do a length in this case. So we're gonna update to three, and then so now everything. So we know everything that's before this end three will be needs to be marked to one, right? And then so this one will be marked to one. And now we're at this we're at this like character here, right? And we search from here onward. If any, <clears throat> if we see any any words in the in the, starts with the dictionary here, starts with any words in the dictionary here. Basically, we see another one. Okay, so A A B is also in that in there, right? So we see okay, so, and then we we compare. We compare if this current I plus the length of this one, if it's a bit greater than than n. If it is, we update. Right. If not, we simply keep this current n. In this case, it, it does, right? Because 1 plus 3 equals to 4, then we update this thing to 4. So now the uh, now the everything before this 4 needs to be marked as 1, so on and so forth, right? And yeah, I think that's it. So let's try to code this thing. All right, so... Hmm. Okay, let's define some variables here. I'm gonna define a flag here equals to length of n at the beginning. Everything needs to it's it's marked starts with zero, and then and then let's do a so current n okay equals to zero right so for I uh, in range in range n right. We we simply check right for each of the current characters we check we loop through the the, the word the dictionary in dictionary right. What do we check we check if the s starts with right. So we're using this like Python built-in functions to check if i starts with this thing and. Uh, Starts with a word, but the second parameter is the i, right? Basically, we, we need to search from the current i onward, right? If, right, starts with that, right? Then we do what we update the current end, right? Maximum, right? Uh, current end plus what i plus the length of the uh, of w, right? And then now we simply do update flag equals to one, right? Uh, equals uh, current and yeah, current i smaller than the current the end, right? That's how we update the flag here. It's flag i equals to that. Basically, if uh, we compare the current index with the with the end index, right? If it's a smaller, then we know this one needs to be marked as as one, otherwise zero, right? So now after this, the first for loop will be having like a flag, which will give us all the the strings needs to be marked. Now we simply loop through the do another loop of this uh, flag uh, flag uh, list here. We do a uh, we we add we add this uh, bold tag. Basically, if first if the flag it's is one, right? Then we check if i equals to zero, right? Or uh, or i is greater than zero, right? And uh, and the flag i minus zero is is zero, right? Not 
then we know the answer. Okay, yeah, we need to also define an answer here. Then the answer needs to be added. We need to append this like starting point, starting like a uh, tag here, right? Then in the right in the middle, we simply append the this current character, right? And then after appending the current characters, we check if we need to do a need to add the ending ending tag here, right? Same thing if i equals to my n minus one, right? Or uh, i is less than, smaller than the uh, n minus one, right? And not flag i plus one, right? Then we know we need to add like a uh, uh, ending tag here. Cool. So in the end, we simply return the uh, the answer here, All right? So let's see. I think this should just. Oh, never mind. Yeah, doesn't support that. So I'm gonna use like a string here. Mm. A B C X Y Z. Yeah, where is it? where is X Y Z? Oh, sorry. Okay. Else, right? So I forgot one point. So else, we simply do a. I think we can just uh, merge this thing, uh, combine this thing together. We can put this uh, flag inside the if else if statement here, so that we we don't have to write these things. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, because I we don't need that, and, right. To this so we won't be missing this thing here right okay and all right let's try it here uh, I think we it seems like we're missing like a parenthesis here yeah, it has to be a uh, end relations here. Let's try it again. Cool. All right, cool. It's passed. So recap. Re do a quick recap. So you know, if you try to maintain this thing while you're you're doing the uh, you're loop doing the for the first loop, it's really hard because until you reach the end of the string, you don't know. You don't know if you need to. Uh, Basically, you, you need to uh, keep like a starting point of the uh, of 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 the one here, right? Maybe there is a way. I think it it could. It, I think there is a way you can do. You can like only do uh, finish this uh, problem in one loop here, while basically the first time you see a one here, and then you keep a starting point, and then then once you uh, you're outside of of this range, right? And then you're just uh, adding a end point i think you can do something like this but anyway so, so in this case i'm just simply using like a flag uh bucket list to indicate like if this if the current character needs to be needs to be marked to needs to be bold right so the way i'm doing it i'm con i'm maintaining maintaining like current end which stands means that everything before this index needs to be marked as as one, right? And then once we have that, uh, and we'll just simply loop through this flag here, right? We check, we, we do a simple check here. If, uh, when do we need to add like a open uh, starting tag, open tag or the or the closing tag here. In the end, we just simply return the, the answer here. Cool guys, I think that's it for this problem. Yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoy watching the videos and thank you so much and see you guys soon. Bye-bye.